the Cape Flats is not often highlighted as a hotbed of sporting excellence. More often it's associated with the rougher side of life. However, for the last 25 years, the Hederfeld Basketball Club has quietly been advancing the sport to basketball and giving youngsters in the Cape Flats a positive alternative to a potential life of gangsterism and crime through its active membership and participation in various leagues that fall under the Cape Town Basketball Association. One of the men credited with getting the club off the ground is club director John Goliath, who explains how it all began. Basketball was never a sport that was heard of in the neighborhood, you know. So a friend of mine, he played a volleyball. Another friend played soccer. And um, I was never a volleyball or soccer or neither a rugby guy. And I saw uh, basketball. That time back, it was still this week in the NBA. You had to wake up 3 o'clock in the morning to come in and really watch uh, this week in the NBA, you know. So I fell in love with the game. No formal coaching. And I just thought, you know what, this is something new, maybe let's try it, you know. I introduced it to my brother, first of all, Salvin Goliath. We're the Goliath brothers. So my brother Salvin, we got a ball, we put the rim next to the house. Sand, there was no paving, nothing. Sand, next door neighbor, uh, also looked in, Ruben Walker, interested. And then Elman Stemmett also came along. So we were four guys playing. And then after a while, Ashley Jacobs came over, Jerome Milan, the driveway got too small. We had to move the game into the street because why we had to make a, a makeshift whoop and then it just, I, I mean, it just blew up from there. Pro 226 Africa is an organization focused on sport and education amongst the youth of South Africa. The man behind it is Nathaniel Jafta, a former player at the Hederfeld Basketball Club and one of only two FIBA qualified basketball agents in South Africa. Pro 226 Africa is deeply involved in developing and looking after players and has partnered with the club to develop players and find opportunities both on the court and off it for some of the talented youngsters. And John Goliath is very excited about Nathaniel's interest in giving back to his community. You know what, we've got love for, for Pro 226 Africa because Nathaniel, the, the, the founder of Pro 226 Africa, comes from Aedafel. He's one of our boys, he's one of our products. I've coached Nathaniel since he was a young man of 12 years old. We introduced him to the, now, I mean, he's a director, he's a, um, he's a, a chartered accountant, he's, he's got a business mind. And you know what, uh, Nathaniel is that type of guy, he can play for any club in the Western Cape, if not South Africa. But yet, he comes and he, uh, he applies his trade in, 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 in the neighborhood, which is Heidefeld, you know. So with his brand that he's bringing with Pro226, and Hederfell Basketball Club, the two, is just a marriage that's, that's good. Nathaniel Jafter is a dynamic 31-year-old who defied the odds to emerge from a tough upbringing on the Cape Flats. He qualified from Stellenbosch University, served his articles at PwC and is now a corporate entrepreneur with a deep sense of his roots and a passion for basketball. So basketball, I chose basketball because there wasn't much else, to be honest with you. Um, when it comes to facilities in the community I grew up in, there wasn't much of an offering. And I was fortunate enough, a guy named John Goliath, um, he was one of the leaders in our community. He introduced basketball in 1994. And at that stage, I was 11 years old and I took up to it. And a lot of us kids in, who were friends just started loving the game. In 2014, Nathaniel took the position of president of Hederfeld Basketball Club. He has been at the forefront of raising funds for the community via the club. Nathaniel was elected president of the Cape Town Basketball Association at the tender age of 30, the youngest president in its history. He was instrumental in establishing the Pro Basket Agency, an internationally certified sports agency licensed to market players abroad. And in 2017, he formed the Pro 226 Africa non-profit organization. So what was Nathaniel's thinking behind the establishment of Pro 226 Africa in the first place? Pro 226 Africa was something that has been on my mind for a long time. Um, Heidefeld has always been in the community. It's a strong club, it's an established club. And yeah, we, we did really well, but we were failing because our kids weren't getting opportunities. So Pro 226 Africa was a brainchild of mine that made me fly to Switzerland 
to become a FIBA agent, so I'm an international agent now. And then fortunately I've been um, able to build relationships with people abroad. So now we've been fortunate enough to build a partnership with Global Sport and Education, who's a partner with Tony Parker's Academy in France. And we're trying to send more kids there now. Hederfeld Basketball Club is one of the biggest clubs in the country. And through the drive, passion and commitment of people like John Goliath on the coaching team and the guidance of Jafta, their teams perform consistently high at a very good level. So what are some of the club's recent highlights? So I think the most amazing achievements we have is our kids. Um, we've probably got the strongest under 18 boys team every year in the Western Cape. Last year the Western Cape won the national basketball under 18 for schools. Um, and a lot of our players play nationally and our coaches are ex-national players which is really, it just shows that this is a professional organization and we run really well. We are governed really well, we've got a strong executive which no community club really has and because of, and I'm trying not to sound arrogant or anything, but because of my um, education I've been able to learn things like how to do your financial statements as a club, how to be audited as a club. So we're a really well-governed club and we've got kids who are performing. Last year we had two girls who went to Botswana or Mozambique. They go so many places I get confused. And they present, represented us really well at the under 15 level. Every year we produce a gem or two. Um, and we've been fortunate, um, for example, last year we had Tyrese who went to America. Um, he's, he's performing exceptionally well. He's even playing in our senior men's team. And he was playing since he's been 17 year old in our men's team. Years before that, we had um, Amir who went to America too. So we've got a lot of people watching our club. Despite being under-resourced, we don't make that an excuse at all. We still do our best and we, we enjoy raising funds. It's not frowned upon in this club at all. As Nathaniel said, the club has nurtured and produced some seriously talented players. Ami Abrams was chosen for the National Under-20 team and attended two training camps via the Point Guard Camp in Ohio in the United States. And the aforementioned Tyrese White, who is also following a similar path. We, four of us went because of an organization called the PGC, which stands for Point Guard College Camp. Um, they come every three months and they, they tutor us, mentor us, they nurture potential in us and they choose the best of the best to go. And America was nothing like I expected, nothing, because everything was different. Um, the people, surprisingly, are very friendly, but I learned a lot, especially playing against the best of the best that side. So just to become a better player, a leader, better mentor. So the values we learned there, we brought it to the other side. So I'm currently I'm an under 12 coach, so just bowling, bowling. Tyrese and his contemporaries and the youngsters he coaches are standing on the brink of something big. The involvement of Pro 226 Africa is opening doors and creating options and opportunities for all of them. Uh, it's, it's, it's opening doors for us, uh, basically. Starting off small, but then since Pro 226 came, the possible skyrocketed in South Africa. Uh, it, wasn't really local, it was locally subsided, but it's skyrocketed ever since. Tyrese has immense talent, but the world is littered with talented, ambitious basketball players. He has definite ideas, though, on what he wants to do with his talent without losing sight of his off-the-court life. Um, I plan to go to university, play university ball, and then from there, pursue anything I want to. But my main dream is to become a professional basketball player. That's what I've always wanted. The partnership with Pro 226 Africa is hugely exciting, as it does not just focus on basketball. Jafter and Goliath know how tough it is to crack the big time in the United States. And while they provide a pathway, they also want to ensure that the younger players get an education as well. For Pro 226, um, the dreams from, from, from the head of a basketball club is for us to be able to say that we've got kids studying in the US. We've got kids, our, our next generation of kids is going to the University of the Western Cape. You know, we, want, we want to be the, 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 the platform that kids will use to, to, to say, listen, let us go play, apply, apply our trade in Heidefeld so we can be 
going to the United States. Let us apply our trade in the head of our with Pro 226 and that we can also study at the University of Stellenbosch and UCT. If not, BITS or UJ, because why? That is what we want. We're not worried about um, being the next NBA player, but we are worried about the next students that is coming from Heidefel and Pro 226. The vision for Pro 226 Africa, for example, I'm hosting a big international tournament in Cape Town in February next year. Um, it's going to be something amazing where we're bringing international teams here. The, the Pro 226 is goal is to create a platform where kids can be seen. Education is the big thing. So I'm not partnering with your multi-million dollar um, sports programs. I'm partnering with universities and I'm partnering with really good mentors abroad. Um, so we are, the vision is to send more kids and become a global organization and not just limit ourselves to Heidefeld, Cape Town, Western Cape, but it is to be everywhere and our kids need to be in every country in the world. Nathaniel Jafte is a young man giving back to his community at Haderfeld and to the sport of basketball that he loves so much through Pro 226 Africa. Surely it won't be long before we see a player from the Haderfeld Basketball Club strutting his stuff in the NBA.